Hi, this is Mike Haber. Thanks for asking me, should I refuse to take field sobriety exams? The first thing that you have to keep in mind and this doesn't just apply to the question asked here, it's actually an excellent thing to always note and apply in life in general. And that's Newton's third law of motion. For every action, there is an equal and an opposite reaction. If a police officer asks you to take FSTs, then for whatever reason, be them right, wrong, or indifferent, that police officer already has it in mind that you're driving under the influence. When that happens, you can be detained while the officer seeks to confirm or to dispel their reasonable suspicion. And the first step in the law enforcement handbook is for them to offer you FSTs. Although it's really not so much an offer, as the cops use language, both verbal and body, that suggests to you that you have no alternative but to perform the exams. If you take and if you pass the tests, or perform the standards as they say, then theoretically anyhow, you should be cut free. And this does happen on occasion. But if you fall short, then you're going to be handcuffed, you're going to be taken to the police station for breath testing. So the question that you have to ask yourself is, do I think that I can perform the standards on tests that are generally designed to elicit a fail? You need to ask yourself whether or not in that moment and on the roadside, you think that you can perform a series of unfamiliar physical behaviors, like keeping perfectly still while following a pen with only your eyes, touching your finger to your nose with your head tilted backwards, standing on one leg while counting to 30, walking a line and making the most unnatural turn with the most unnatural pivot of your life, with neither, neither any practice nor experience, and all of this while traffic passes you by and people stare at you because you're surrounded by a battalion of police officers and squad cars. There's a lot of reasons that people fail FSTs. Nervousness, physical disabilities, health reasons. Me? I can't even pass them stone cold sober in my living room. Believe me, I've tried. But in the end, the choice is yours to make, not mine. I wish you the best of luck with it, and I thank you for your question. I appreciate your having asked me, and I invite you to ask me more. Please remember at Haber PA, it's all about reasonable doubt. And if you like this video, then please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll be putting out more soon.